Thank you for being here, Boogie. I'll never miss any of your weddings. <laughs> hey. Mm. I almost forgot. Uh, it's a classy dame. Smart as a whip, too. Who? Oh. Now, what's so interesting about you is that you can really swim. Well, yeah, I can really swim. What do you mean? Why is that interesting? Because can you, you not have swim? this drowning scene. Oh, because I drown in the movie, sort of. Well, yeah, I mean, even swimmers drown. I was always cautioned that way, because I was always crazy in the water. People used to say, don't be so crazy, you can still drown, even in the currents and all that, so it's possible. So what exactly happened that you didn't continue your, your career in swimming? I just, uh, well, I overtrained. I, you know, back, the training back then was, uh, you know, the Australians were longer, harder. I was a miler. I was a, the longest race, the distance swimmer. So it was too much training, and I breathed to one side, and my shoulder sat up like this because I, I was so muscular on one side. And then it affected my neck, which affected my arm. So I couldn't pull through the water anymore. Too much swimming, too much training. Don't train too much. It's terrible for you. But you still love it. You still no. I hate. Like, nobody likes swimming. Chlorine. You look like a. I look. I look at pictures when I was really training when I was a kid. I look like. I don't look like a kid. I look like a ghost. I look like literally Walking Dead. Just drawn. And you know, you're up at four thirty every morning. You know. You know, bathing in chlorine all day. It's terrible. Oh wow. Sports. And team sports. That's the way to do it. For the, you know, you're in the water. You can't talk to anybody. All you do is think about yourself, which leads to acting pretty well. Perfect segue. Perfect, perfect segue. <laughs> <laughs> now, in this film, you're playing the best friend. And yes. So tell me if there's been a situation at a wedding where you had to make the toast. You know, I haven't. And that's prob I'm the terrible, well, I'm terrified. That's my number. Jaws, sharks, and public speaking are two of my, my greatest fears. So my best friend, nobody, my, my closest friends haven't got married yet, but my best friend's on his way. So I have to, I have to say something pretty soon. I'm terrified. <clears throat> I'm gonna get too drunk and then, you know, you know, blow it. I know it's gonna get bad. We'll and see. it'll be like this movie. Well, hopefully not like this. <laughs> hopefully I won't do something like that. But I mean, yeah, no, it'll it'll be it'll be interesting to see if I can pull it off. We'll see. Have you ever been to a Jewish wedding? <sighs> so I, you know, I can't believe it, but I don't think I have. I think this was my first one. A fiction one was my first one. I don't think I have, which amazes me. I can't be right. But we'll see. Well, I have to go back in the files and check. You would know. I would know, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I did. My first one was, I, that, that's right. I knew I had been to one. Yes, one. One. Yeah, it was good. Did you partake in all the craziness, like the dancing? Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to. I could not. I wouldn't be that guy watching. I can't do that. You have to get in there. That was fun to do on, on the, in the movie. It was really fun to do. Tell me about other really fun times that you had with Paul. I mean, your chemistry was great. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, the most fun is, you know, outside of shooting, too, when you're both jet-lagged in Rome and, and just, you know, stuck like five days before you shoot and just are walking around Rome and getting to know each other and laughing and having a good time. Yeah, that's great. Must have eaten a lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was playing this sort of drugged out crazy guy, so I was kind of watch, trying to watch how much pasta I was eating, so did show up on set a little bloated. <laughs> but no, I mean, yeah, it was, was fun, fun to do. Did you lose weight for the role? Yeah, this, especially when we got to Canada, when he, was, when he comes back and he's supposed to be a lot sicker and sort of lost, I sort of stopped eating that much. Yeah, well, I didn't only have two weeks, so I just sort of, you know, did the thing. It was, nobody asked me to. <laughs> I don't think they wanted me to, but I, it, was, it was kind of fun to do. I wanted to see if I could lose some weight. And I think it was cool. I, I, when I would go and watch the movie, I liked that he looks a little vulnerable at the end of the movie. So you did, like, the Christian Bale thing? No, I mean, he, that, I don't know how he did it. I don't, know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even understand how that man does things. That's pretty incredible what he does. But, no, I, I did it for 14 days. I think he looks like he did it for two years at some point. And here's another good segue. Uh, Is it true that you auditioned for Batman Forever? <laughs> yeah, I was at the high school for gifted uh, athletes and gifted um, and they had a gifted artist program. So when I got injured, I started hanging out with all the actors and dating this girl. And 
she, uh, she, you know, dared me to audition for that, and that's kind of how I got started. They were doing a big sort of casting thing in, in North America, and the cast director was in town, so I, I did an audition for her. And then she got me an agent, and then I started. And you wanted to be Robin, right? <clears throat> well, I wanted to, you know, you know, get out of my house. <laughs> so, yeah, I was willing to do anything. Um, but yeah, Robin. I mean, you know, I'd real, you know, I'm, if you go back and look at the tapes, I'm sure it wasn't the most, uh, the best performance of all time. But we'll see. How would you have played Robin? I don't know. I, well, I was, you know, 18 at the time, so I was like right at the right age, you know. Um, I have no idea. I didn't. I, you know, I was barely stringing two words together at that time, acting wise. So. What's your next project? Uh, it's called, uh, I got a movie called The Vow coming out with uh, Channing Tatum and Rachel McAdams, and then I have another one called The Moth Diaries coming out. It's a Mary Aaron movie, good movie. And what are you playing in those? I play like uh, sort of the, the second, well, her ex, uh, Rachel McAdams' ex fiance um, comes back, and uh, the other one I play a private uh, girls uh, school teacher who has sort of an inappropriate relationship with one of the one of the students. Yeah, very bad. Juicy. Juicy stuff right there. Give me the tips. Thanks, Scott. All right. <laughs> See you. See you. Oh, man. For the first time in my life, I am truly, seriously, irretrievably in love. So am I, Barney. So am I.